Hi, my name is Steve with the Trailer Hitch RV Center here in Napomo, California. In today's video, we're gonna to touch on a couple of topics to make sure that you're towing at it a lot safely with your new RV. In today's video, we're gonna go over the brake controller, your receiver on the back of your tow vehicle, and also weight distribution. Okay guys, we're gonna start off with the brake controller. The brake controller is one of the main components you're gonna to need to be able to tow off of the lot safely with your new travel trailer. Now, a brake controller basically is gonna work with the electronic brakes that are installed on your travel trailer. Now, what a brake controller does is it works with the vehicle and the trailer at the same time. So that way, when you're pressing the brakes here inside your cab of your truck, the brakes are gonna be applied on your trailer as well. Here in this Ford, we have what's called a factory installed brake controller, as you can see here. Now, sometimes you are gonna be going down maybe a grade, um, you may encounter some crosswinds and your trailer may begin to sway. What's good about this right here is that you can pinch these together just a little bit without pinch, without applying the brakes to your truck and this will straighten your trailer out. Now, not all vehicles come with a factory installed brake controller, but that's no problem. Here at the Trailer Hitch RV, we have many different options to go over with you. Right now, we're gonna go over with the most popular item, uh, which is a Takancha P2 brake controller and we'll show you that here next. Okay, what we have here is the Takancha P2 brake controller. Now this is considered an aftermarket brake controller. Now we usually mount these brake controllers right here next to your steering wheel, close to your knee. That way you can reach down with your hand and access all of your controls very easy. Now remember, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and give us a call. All right, the next thing we're gonna go over with you is gonna be your receiver. Now here we have a receiver installed on the back of this truck. Now a receiver is very important to safety and it is an absolute necessity. A receiver is gonna accept your ball mounts or your weight distribution hitch heads. Now, if you don't have a uh, receiver installed on the back of your truck, no need to worry. Here at the Trailer Hitch, we have plenty of options to go over with you. Okay guys, the last topic of today's video is gonna be weight distribution. Now, weight distribution is very important and crucial to be able to tow safely. Weight distribution is going to distribute the load from your trailer equally with your truck. That way your truck's not riding nose high and your trailer is not riding nose low. Um, some of the times whenever your truck is riding nose high, you're gonna have some unusual tire wear. Same thing with the trailer. So a weight distribution hitch is very crucial for that to help you with some uh, unwanted wear and tear. Now down here we have installed on this truck is an E2 weight distribution hitch. What's good about an E2 weight distribution hitch is it has built-in sway control. So sometimes um, you're gonna run across a little bit of crosswind and you will encounter some sway. Right here at the back, we have what's called two spring bar trunnion bars. And what this is gonna do is put pressure down here on these bars. So that way when you do encounter a little bit of sway, it'll straighten your trailer out. All right, guys, in today's video, we went over your brake controller, receiver, and weight distribution. Now, keep in mind, these are three crucial items to ensure that you're towing off the lot safely. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to us here or stop by the shop. 